The Chittagong Hill Tracks, located in the southeast border of Bangladesh, is one of the most scenic parts of the country. It is divided into three districts, Khagrachori, Rangamati and Bandarban, and makes up approximately one-tenth of the total land area of Bangladesh. Some areas are surrounded by rivers and only accessible by boat, while most of the land is hilly or covered by rugged mountains. Only 3% of it is plain land. The people of the region have endured a difficult time because of conflict in the region. The hilly landscape in the region also makes access to basic services difficult. People have to travel long distances by foot to find the nearest health clinic or travel long hours by boat to buy medical supplies from local markets. Most of the population, which includes 11 major tribes, speaks in native languages that make trade difficult with the rest of the country. These factors combined have contributed to slow development in the region. In a remote village surrounded by mountains, crops and trees of Bandarban, Amod Devi begins her mourning by weaving cloth from strings of cotton. She uses a simple device made of bamboo and wood. Her husband is already at work in the fields as are most of the male population who work in agriculture. Right next to Amur Devi's house is the Murungkhang Para Center. Some preschool children are already at the Para Center waiting in the veranda. UNICEF in collaboration with the Chittagong Hill Tracts Development Board started the concept of para center since 1980 where people living in isolated areas can access basic services related to health, education, nutrition, water and sanitation. A trained volunteer called a para worker runs each para center. She is selected from the same community as the para center which is what makes her different from teachers at most other schools in the country. As other children begin to arrive at the Murukhang Para Center, a para worker from the local community helps children climb up the stairs of the para center. As a para worker, Chinta Debi enjoys working with the children and families that she is already familiar with. The parents feel comfortable to leave their children with her and trust her abilities. আগে যখন পাড়া কেন্দ্র ছিল না তখন মায়েরা বাচ্চাদেরকে জুবিনে কাজে নিয়ে যেত এখন পাড়া কেন্দ্র যখন আসে বাচ্চা মায়েরা বাচ্চাদেরকে আমাদের কাছে এই পাড়া কেন্দ্রে এসে রেখে যায় তখন আমি ঠিকমতো ওদেরকে পড়াতে পারি চিন্তা ইউজুয়ালি ম্যানেজেস দ্য চিলড্রেন অল বাই হারসেলফ বাট টুডে শি ইজ নট অ্যালোন রীতিশ্রী চাকমা এ সিনিয়র পাড়া ওয়ার্কার is also there to monitor the progress of the children. The early years of a child's life are very important because it lays the foundation for learning and growth. Para workers make sure that learning is fun for the children aged from three to five years. Para workers play different games with the children and use songs and rhymes to teach preschool classes. The school books and study materials are also developed considering the local culture and language so that they can learn easily. Chinta Devi also teaches children how to wash their hands properly with soap as a part of holistic approach to child development. She teaches to wash their hands before eating and after using the latrine. Behavioral change messages on diarrhea proper hygiene and prevention of other waterborne diseases are also taught to them from an early age. In addition to schooling, the Para Center acts as a center for immunization. Chinta Devi assists health workers to ensure that children, adolescent and women receive vaccines and important information regarding health and nutrition. Riti Sri Chakma, the senior para worker, ensures that immunization cards are completed properly. 
children are given polio vaccines and tetanus shots they could have otherwise missed in the absence of the para center sito bri tika ka pi de ya ga pi do bri kha de sha ngo tha li tu sha ma school na bo tu lo kha da yo pa pa she sha ngo jot na pyang tha li ya pa pa ri ha ko ga wo na kha che ka lo ha ko vitamin b ya pa pa ri ha ko ga ya she mung ge The mountains and hilly areas make it very difficult for health workers to visit the households in the community frequently. As a result, the community have often been deprived from health services in the past. The para center provides a common space for the community to receive health services and to participate in awareness building sessions. Para workers use tools such as flip charts and illustrations to explain important issues. During community meetings at the para center, they talk to community members about a wide variety of topics such as proper nutrition, birth registration and safe motherhood. এখানে আরেকটা উল্লেখযোগ্য বিষয় যে আমরা জন্ম নিবন্ধন এই এলাকার লোকের কাছে ছিল অজ্ঞাত এখন আমাদের পাড়া কর্মীরা আমাদের নিজস্ব প্রত্যেকটা পাড়া কেন্দ্রে একটা শিট আছে সেই শিটে কোথায় কয়জন নতুন বিবাহ করেছে এবং তার কখন তার সন্তান আসবে এবং এই সন্তান আসার পূর্বে তাকে কি ব্যবস্থা নিতে হবে আমাদের পাড়া কর্মীরাই তাদেরকে এই প্রশিক্ষণটা দিয়ে থাকছে তো যার ফলে এই যে জন্ম নিবন্ধন বিষয়টা যাদের অজ্ঞাত ছিল আমাদের পাড়া কর্মীরা জন্ম গ্রহণের সাথে সাথে ইউনিয়ন পরিষদের সাথে যোগাযোগ করে তার জন্ম নিবন্ধনটাও সম্পাদন করে ফেলতেছে অ্যাডোলেসেন্স আর গিভেন টিটেনাস শটস ভিটামিন এ ক্যাপসুলস অ্যান্ড আয়রন ফলিক সাপ্লিমেন্টেশন হুইচ আর ক্রিটিক্যাল ইন প্রিভেন্টিং অ্যানিমিয়া ইন উইমেন দে অলসো লার্ন অ্যাবাউট মেনস্ট্রুয়াল হাইজিন are taught about harmful effects of child marriage and the importance of having a balanced diet. Uh, each para center besides a community worker who is the para worker is also uh, aided by a para center management committee which consists of community members. They help in building the para center and later in maintaining it and also in mobilizing the community to Uh, generate and uh, generate demand and utilize the services there have been many instances where for issues which are have been identified by the community the para center management committee have been able to leverage or uh, get resources from the community itself for meeting the needs of children and women in the para para centers have already made impressive contributions in improving the education health nutrition and hygiene situation in the Chittagong hill tracts but more can be done আমাদের যে ভবিষ্যৎ যে পরিকল্পনা আছে বিভিন্ন প্রজেক্টের মাধ্যমে ছোটো ছোটো প্রজেক্টের মাধ্যমে এই পাড়া কেন্দ্রগুলোতে পানি সার্ভিস দিয়ে কিংবা সোলার প্যানেলের মাধ্যমে ওই পাড়া কেন্দ্রগুলোকে আমরা আরও আধুনিকায়ন করে এবং বিশেষ করে মায়েরা যারা আছে তাদেরকে যে সমস্ত এখনও আমার বাচ্চাদের আমরা ফিডিং প্রোগ্রামে আমরা এখনও পর্যাপ্তভাবে আমরা ফিডিং প্রোগ্রাম আমরা করতে সক্ষম হয়নি এই ফিডিং প্রোগ্রামের আওতায় নিয়ে এসে এখন যে বিস্কিট যে প্রোগ্রাম আছে নিউট্রিশনাল যে তাদের যে সাপ্লিমেন্ট নিউট্রিশন যে সাপ্লিমেন্ট সেই নিউট্রিশন সাপ্লিমেন্টের মাধ্যমে তাদেরকে শিশুদেরকে আরও একটু শারীরিকভাবে আরও যেন সুস্থ থাকে Around 3800 para centers are currently providing services to nearly half of the entire population in the Chittagong Hill Tracts region and 200 more are being built this year. Senior para workers like Riti Sri Chakma help monitor about 10 other para centers which they visit on a daily basis. As former para workers themselves they are trained to facilitate all services and ensure that the quality of services is not compromised unicef vision um in the coming uh, future is to 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 try to capture the good practice 
that you have seen in uh, the Chittagong Hill tracks and try to see how other regions of Bangladesh, which hosting as well isolated population, could benefit from it. Um, the one-stop service is a very cost-effective manner for the government to deliver services as health, education, water, and sanitation for isolated location. The para centers have proved its effectiveness, its usefulness, and its status as a hub for variety of service delivery. We want to integrate, we want to utilize these 4,000 uh, para centers spread all over the hill tracks and that will help us in achieving our vision to have a peaceful and prosperous Chita Hill tracks and for that with that aim in view we want to upscale we want to upgrade the present activities present works of para centers and we have a plan to train up the uh, para kormis para workers senior para workers and to put uh, more resources for upscaling and upgrading these uh, para centers. The challenge now is to make sure that the services provided within the para centers continue and identify new ways to make them even better.